Good morning, fish peoples. Let me tell you an interesting but sad the story. This is a four foot, 55 gallon tank, just an aqu aquion right from Petco that I had freshwater fish in and then I got the saltwater bug. So uh, I converted to a fish only saltwater tank. Uh, just looking through some records, it turns out that was a little more than five years ago. My intention was at first just to have this a chromus tank so they would school around, bada 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 bing. You see those two chromus? That's all that's left. So approximately five years ago, I put 10 blue green chromus in this tank. The tank was cycled, it's ready to go, never had any problems with that. Uh, lost one, if I remember correctly, to some kind of weird fin disease. I never did know what that was. So that left them with nine. And now here we are, year five, and we have two. So, boys and girls, this is a fact about these fish. They will kill each other with time. Now, if you had an enormous tank, it probably wouldn't be a problem. I've also read some articles about how if you have a predatory fish down at the bottom, they'll school together at the top. Well, I didn't have any of those things. I just had all your normal type of fish. And when I first started in saltwater, I thought that these were peaceful fish. They are peaceful, but not to each other. So these two left, which I assume are mated because they hang around together all the time, managed to knock off all of the other ones, all of the other ones left out of 10. So if you want to get some of these, you better do some research or you're going to be sad. I'll see you later.